Hi guys, it is a pleasant summer Sunday morning here in the end times in the Point Lonesome Swamp and uh, the Oasis of Freedom. So the little dog and I are procrastinating. We got to start packing the gas sucking truck for we're going to go enjoy ourselves for a week in South Florida. So before I buckle down to work, uh, I just want to have this little rant and send it out to, well, I guess the person uh, knows who they are. Uh, we're going to have a lesson and, and what do you call it brother the the ham bone walk uh and living in gratitude and whatnot uh you might have uh heard uh i i don't know how facetious uh, it was uh, new year's eve sitting out on the deck my buddy and i and uh a, a, a regular theme for the past few days that my buddy uh, I'm going to call my buddy Eric because that's his name and uh, I, I honestly can't tell this guy uh, he's funny as hell Eric is a uh, Eric you're a <laughs> it's a hard one Eric is a hard one to figure out I honestly don't know he, he, he's a great uh, appreciator of irony and satire I, I and he's good because even I do not know when the guy's being ironic or not. So when he is talking about uh, uh, living in gratitude and uh, enjoying the moment and, and the ham bone walk and all of this stuff, I honestly do not know if the man is joking or not. Uh, but his banter is quite entertaining about living in gratitude. So anyway, we're, we're going to have a lesson in, uh, in living in gratitude. And I was thinking, I don't know why, uh, I got to thinking about this friend of mine who, well, this former friend of mine, I finally just had, had, had enough of her fucking bitching about everything. And we're going to call this woman Leah because that is her name. And so... Leah was one of these, this is before I, I went Doomer, okay, so she knew me when I was a successful realtor in Austin, Texas, and Leah was what was this classic Austinite. Uh, she was a massage therapist, and a good one, uh, a successful massage therapist, obviously, uh, she was your classic uh, you know, liberal. She considered herself to be an environmentalist, and she was certainly a social justice warrior. She was a Buddhist. Uh, I think she identified as a Buddhist. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm I'm ninety nine percent sure she identified as a Buddhist. And she was not a radical vegan, but she was mostly vegetarian. Uh, I'm sure she did. I would be shocked if she ate beef or pork. I'm pretty sure she ate chicken uh, and certainly seafood and whatnot. But she was a healthy eater. You know, she, she had a healthy lifestyle. She was a good cook. She, she really was. I mean, she was a damn good cook. Uh, and so she, you know, j just the, the epitome of your classic Austinite. But Leah had, I don't know if this is a fault or not, we all knew, we, we learned pretty quick uh, that you don't go out to eat with Leah. Uh, she would, you know, so Leah, uh, obviously, what, what all that segue was, Leah was one of these people, you know, like so many uh, of these uh, little limp dick lefties, uh, always, you know, preaching gratitude. You know, this living in the moment and enjoying it while you can, not with the doomer angle. 
See, when I say enjoy it while you can, I add the word while you still can. All right, in, in case people have never noticed the subtle addition to enjoy it while you can, it's enjoy it while you still can. So she didn't get that part of it, but enjoy it while you can, live in the moment, and show gratitude. And, uh, but as much as I enjoyed Leah's company till I finally got sick of her bitching, what everyone who knew Leah knew what to expect when you went out to eat with her, what she would do uh, as far as I know, she wasn't a fucking restaurant critic. So you would go anywhere, it doesn't matter. You could be at a fucking sports bar, all right? You, you could be, I, I don't know, at some food trailer uh, on, on the sidewalk in Austin, uh, you know, eating at a picnic table outside of a food trailer. Uh, it, it, it didn't matter where you were. She thought that every fucking plate of food, whether it cost $5 or $75, uh, she thought she was, uh, it, it, apparently she thought she was at some fucking uh, fancy restaurant in New York City. It, 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 it's some fucking French restaurant in New York City. It didn't matter where the fuck it was. She would go in there, she would get her food, and she would approach every fucking plate of food like this was her job to criticize everything the chef did wrong that she was the expert and she was a damn good chef okay i assure you uh leah cooked me some fabulous home cooked meals so she decided you know every fucking plate it does it did not matter what was set down in front of her it was she was going to assign herself as the food critic and, and, and she would sit there and, and, and fucking judge the chef uh, on everything. And uh, she, I think she might have actually called the chef out uh, a couple of times, you know, letting the chef know what he or she did wrong. Usually the waitress or the waiter was the one uh, who got to hear her fucking uninvited restaurant review. Uh, you know, like, 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 just completely. Now, I just have a sense of humor about it. Uh, I, I remember one time, uh, this was out in Colorado, where we were traveling together, and we had spent, I don't know, two or three days together, and had... I don't know, we were like on our fifth meal, uh, on, on, on our fifth meal, and every one, every one of these meals, you, you know, she had complained and whined and, and acted like uh, that, that she was spending a hundred fucking dollars, uh, you know, at some fancy French restaurant, bitching, whining, moaning about every fucking whatever, uh, I, I, I don't know, her, her goddamn uh, salad dressing uh, it had two drops, too much fucking vinegar in it, whatever it was. Meanwhile, I had had five delicious meals. I had been at the same table eating the same damn food. I thoroughly enjoyed every bite uh, of every meal I had had. Uh, I was damn glad to get the goddamn food. Uh, you know, most of these, we're talking fucking $10 meals. Uh, I, was, I was absolutely uh, thrilled and grateful for this delicious food being in, uh, set in front of me for a fucking $10 bill. And she was over there, and, and you know, when you're with people like this, these whiny little entitled, uh, the, these fucking entitled little limp dick lefties thinking that, that, that the fucking world owes them, uh, you, you know, a fucking whatever, uh, 
feast uh, every time they go out to a goddamn diner. Uh, you, you, know, you just have to have a sense of humor about, about it. You just have to detach yourself uh, and, and just watch these people in action thinking, you, you know, darling, it, it must just be fucking awful to live like this, that you can't go out and, and, and have a fucking sandwich with a friend. Uh, you, you know what I'm saying. Uh, w w without sitting there and, and with your fucking nose up in the fucking air. And uh, I I anyway, uh, it's called gratitude. Uh, this clueless bitch, you know, talking to, uh, you know, about living in gratitude. She doesn't know the fucking meaning of the word. I was just over there on, uh, on uh, Collapse Chronicles leading, uh, reading the latest excellent comment from Marty McCorkle uh, over there on Collapse Chronicles. The, the last words uh, of that long comment was food is food, especially when there isn't any. Uh, you know, talking about get out there and be fucking grateful that you have some fucking food in your face. You know, my, my mama, you know, she was a child of the depression. My mama was an awful cook, by the way. That was not her talent. And uh, she loved that expression, food is food. Sit there, keep your fucking whiny mouth shut, eat your fucking food. You little entitled whiny whatever. And show some fucking gratitude. Anyway. Ah, uh, Leah, I, I don't think Leah is going to hear this, but I, I hope she does. Uh, Leah, I, I, I hope uh, you get to hear this uh, wherever you are, darling. Uh, hope you're enjoying it while you still can, and I hope you're walking in gratitude. Anyway, so that is the Hambone Walk living in gratitude, enjoying it while you still can moment. And now uh, this got me hungry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, walk into Lulu's house and get some of these, uh, get some of these. Uh, she was kind enough to leave me this big bag of these Walmart brand breaded chicken patties. So I'm going to go in there and get a couple of these Walmart breaded chicken patties and a couple of hamburger buns. I bought at what I call the used bread store. And uh, I'm going to have me a couple of fine Walmart breaded chicken patties uh, and sit there and enjoy every bite of it and be fucking grateful. Thank you, Lulu, for leaving me this food, for blessing me with this food. Anyway, would you like a, uh, a Walmart chicken patty? So, say, pop, I'm just grateful uh, for all of these squirrelies. I'm grateful for that squirrely like that. Get out there and uh, enjoy walking in gratitude while you still can. Bye, guys.